During the course of this video, we're going to show you how to set up an AC high pot test, connect a 1340 tester, one of the 1300 series testers, to a device under test, also known as a DUT. Run the high pot test. Demonstrate pulse mode. Don't forget to visit our website at www.highpot.com to find out more information on electrical safety testing. First, you'll need to power up your 1340 tester. Check to be sure the correct input line voltage has been selected on the rear panel, either 115 volts AC or 230 volts AC. You'll also need to insert the remote interlock key into the 9-pin remote input-output terminal on the rear panel of the 1340. The tester will not output voltage unless this interlock key is properly plugged into the remote input-output. Note that only the 1340 testers have the interlock feature. The 1305 tester does not have remote interlock capabilities. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel of the instrument. Connect the male end of the plug to the outlet receptacle. Now, turn on the power switch on the front panel of the 1340. Upon power up, the instrument will briefly flash the model number and firmware version number. Next, we're going to set up an AC high pot test. Press the set key and the voltage LED will illuminate and flash. Use the up and down arrow keys to edit the AC high pot voltage. The voltage is displayed in kilovolts, or KV. For this example, we will set the test voltage to 1.2 KV, or 1200 volts. When you've changed the voltage to the desired value, press the set key again to accept this value and move on to the next parameter, current. The current LED will illuminate and flash. This value represents the leakage current high limit that you will set for your AC high pot test. If at any point during the test the leakage current exceeds this value, the test will fail and the red reset button will illuminate. There will also be an audible alarm indicating a test failure. Use the up and down arrow keys to edit the leakage current high limit. You can set the high limit for an AC test up to 40 milliamps. On the 1305, you can only set the high limit to 5 milliamps. When you've changed the current high limit to the desired value, press the set key again to accept this value and move on to the next parameter, dwell. The dwell time is the length of time the tester will apply the program test voltage. Use the up and down arrow keys to set the dwell time. This tester allows you to toggle between four different values for dwell time. Zero seconds, one second, 60 seconds, or off. If the dwell is set to 0, 0.0, the tester will operate in a continuous on mode when the test button is pressed. It will stop when the DUT goes into failure or the manual reset button is pressed. When the dwell is set to off, the output voltage will continue only while the test button is held down. As soon as the test button is released, the tester will stop outputting voltage. If the dwell is set to 1, the tester will test for 1 second when the test button is pressed. If the dwell is set to 60, the tester will test for 60 seconds when the test button is pressed. When you've changed the dwell time to the desired value, press the set key again to accept this value and move on to the next parameter. Ramp slash pulse. At this point, the ramp LED will be illuminated and flashing. The ramp time is the time the instrument will take to reach the full program test voltage. Use the up and down arrow keys to increase or decrease the ramp time. You can set the ramp time up to 999.9 .9 seconds. When you set to 0.0, .0 the ramp time is fixed at 0.1 seconds to reach full test voltage. If ramp is set to pulse, the failure condition will be reset automatically and will be ready for another test. This mode is usually reserved for troubleshooting the location of faults rather than compliance testing. Now that all the parameters have been set, press the exit key to exit the test mode. Finally, we're going to show you how to connect the 1340 to a DUT and run the test we have set up. To connect the 1340 to the DUT, you're going to need the following accessories the high voltage lead, the high voltage retractable probe. This can be used instead of the high voltage lead. The return clip lead. 
If using the optional universal style adapter box instead of the clip style leads, you will need the adapter box. First, plug the sheathed black connector of the return lead to the return terminal of the 1340 tester. Now, connect the high voltage lead by plugging the white Alden style connector into the HV terminal on the 1340. Once all of these connections have been made, you can now connect your DUT. If using the universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads, make the same connections. To connect a DUT using the clip leads, clip the high voltage lead to the mains conductors of the DUT. In this case, we're shorting the line and neutral wires, which are the black and white wires, to the high voltage lead. Next, connect the return lead to the chassis of the DUT. This allows for a return path for the leakage current so the unit can measure leakage through the insulation of the DUT. If using the universal style adapter box instead of the clip leads, simply plug the three-prong cord of the DUT into the adapter box. Close the DUT enclosure door, stand back, and push the test button to run your test sequence. You can also view the voltage, leakage current value, and dwell timer during the high pot test. Simply press the exit key while the test is running. The LED on the left hand side of the display will toggle between voltage, current, and dwell. Once your test has completed, press the reset button to get the unit back into an idle state. Now, we're going to demonstrate pulse mode using the retractable high voltage lead. To set the tester to pulse mode, press the set key until the ramp slash pulse parameter LED is illuminated. Use the down arrow key until pulse is shown on the LCD. For the purpose of this demonstration, the dwell time has been set to 0.0, .0 for continuous output. Pulse mode allows you to check various points on a DUT without having to reset between each failure. This can be helpful when troubleshooting a DUT to look for problem spots in the insulation. When a failure is found, the 1340 reset button will illuminate and the tester will emit a loud audible beep. Simply press the reset button to stop the test. 